A video has gone viral showing a 12-year-old Atlanta boy slapped and he also was verbally assaulted. A lot of people concerned about this story. The video also appears to show members of his family etching the word gay into the side of his hair with clippers. Hope Ford spoke to a local activist who reached out to the young boy hours after this video started making the rounds on social media. Yeah, the activist I talked to is also running for city council in the very district where the young boy lived. He tells me it's not politics, it's actually personal because when he watched the video, he saw a version of himself. Is that what you think is on the side of your head for no reason? It popped up on my social media on Friday morning and when I saw it, my heart was broken because I saw a piece of myself in that. Activist and city council candidate Devin Barrington Ward says this video is hard to watch no matter how many times he sees it. As a black queer man, I have experienced some of the same um, homophobia and some of the same abuse. The video shows a 12-year-old boy repeatedly hit and threatened with more violence. You thought I wasn't gonna beat your on that night, she did. The word gay shaved into his head as a punishment. Barrington Ward couldn't stand by and do nothing, so he reached out to the family, talked to the child and his mother. He expressed his appreciation for the support, um, but also made it clear that he wasn't happy with what happened to him. Atlanta police confirmed the young boy was removed from the home the day after this video, placed in the care of the Division of Family and Children's Services. Barrington Ward says he doesn't want to see a family torn apart, but doesn't want a young child experiencing violence or hate. What I told him on the patio at his home was that you're loved, that you're cared for, that we've got your back, so that he could see a version of himself um, in the future, that it does get better, um, and that um, it's important to fight for your survival because there is a future for you. And Barrington Ward created two fundraisers for the boy, a GoFundMe and an upcoming drag show fundraiser that'll take place this Thursday. The goal is to help raise money for the child, but also to have a panel discussion on violence and homophobia. So you can find all those details on our website, 11alive.com. All right, Hope, thank you.